Hi, Dominica here from EasySewingForBeginners.com. In this video today, I will be showing you how you can fix up the timing in your mini sewing machine if it is not stitching at all. Now, if you find that uh, you are getting some stitches occasionally, then check out part one of this series and you might get some other tips that you can try before you get to the point of taking the machine apart. Okay, so I'll link to that in, in the description down below for you. Okay, so what you need to do first, we are actually going to take this machine apart, open it up. So you need a uh, Phillips head screwdriver and you'll probably need a piece of paper towel or a cloth just because it is a bit greasy inside. Um, unplug your machine and take all the threads out. So to open up this little mini sewing machine, I'm just going to turn it around. We actually have one, two, three, four, five, six screws to remove. Okay, so I've removed the six screws. Now you'll need to take off the battery cover next. And then if you have a sticker on there as well, you just need to peel the sticker off. And then I'm just going to push this take up lever down a bit. You should be able to very carefully remove the front cover bit, like so. Now before we actually look at the bobbin bit down here, if you come across the problem where your needle is not going up and down anymore, then the problem might actually be up here next to the take up lever, because I found that this little notch in here sometimes it can slip out from the little black holder here so if you find that that happens for you I'll just try and see sometimes when it's at that point um, I'll just take it out just so you can see what I mean okay so this little white notch here has come out so that effectively stops the needle from going up and down so what you'd need to do for that if that happens to you is just try and get that little notch back into that groove there. Okay. All right. Now to get back to our timing, what you'll need to do is remove this bobbin case. So here this is a bit that holds your little bobbin. Just very carefully remove that. I just move that little grey bit over to the side a bit to manoeuvre it out. Okay, so I leave that to the side. Okay, now you can either remove this needle plate or you can leave it in place. It just depends if it gets in your way while you're doing this. Okay, so what we have is we have our hook race. So you can see when the needle is going up and down, I'll see if I can put that in a position where you can see it best. When the needle is going up and down, that hook race spins around and this hook bit here, that's the bit that actually catches the thread and takes it over that bottom bobbin. Okay, now my little needle plate's getting in the way so I'm going to take mine off. So to take your needle plate off, just to carefully, just try and lift it out of place there. Pop that aside as well. Okay, so I'll get the camera nice and close so you can see where the needle and the hook on the hook brace needs to be to fix that timing up. Okay, so here we are nice and close. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the needle down to its lowest position. Okay. 
So at the moment, my hook is probably just a little bit too far in front um, of the needle because when the needle is starting to go back up, that's when we want the hook on the hook race to come around and catch that thread. Okay, so it's probably a slight adjustment, but that might be making all the difference with this machine stitching and not stitching. Okay, so what you'll need to do down here under the hook race, there are four screws. So we've got one, two, three, and number four is in there. So I'm going to remove all of those screws. Okay, now that paper towel is handy because there's some kind of lubrication uh, on these cogs and underneath the bottom of the hook race. So if you need it, wipe your fingers. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to dislodge these cogs down here so we can maneuver and turn the hook race without making the rest of the machine move. So to do that because all the screws are loosened I'm just going to hold this large cog here with one finger and then if I kind of just move this one over I can I can turn it without everything else moving okay so it's a little bit awkward but doable all right so once you've got that all worked out, what I want you to do is get the needle in its lowest position and just about to move up. Okay. So what I'm going to do, because I think my hook is just a little bit too fast, I'm going to try and move it back just one position. So I'm going to hold that large cog. Okay, so I think that is where I want my hook to be as my needle starts to go up. So to check that I'm just going to place in two of the screws Okay, just make sure all the cogs are back into place and turning okay. Alright so before I put all the screws back in and put everything back to, in place I'm just going to check that the um, hook race is picking up the thread so all I'm going to do is thread the needle all right, and I'm going to see as I turn it see if that hook picks up that bottom thread as I'm turning. Alright so you can see the hook has picked up the thread and would be taking it over the bobbin. Alright awesome. So once you've tested that and the top thread is being picked up then replace all the screws down the bottom and then I'm going to put the cover back on and replace the back screws as well. Once the screws are back in you can replace the bobbin case. So remember this is a little groove that you need to have going under the needle here so make sure it looks like that when you put it back in. Okay, and now would be a good time to replace the needle plate as well. So I've got the bobbin case in, I've got my needle plate back in. So now I can carefully replace the cover. Just make sure the take up lever 
goes into this groove here. Line everything back up. And before you start putting on the screws in, just make sure all the notches on the needle plates um, are underneath the plastic. Okay, so I've threaded the machine up, so let's see how it goes. Okay, stitching, not too bad. I might need to play around with the tension a bit, but other than that, it's back to picking up the stitches again. Okay, I hope you found this video useful. Hit the thumbs up button if you did or leave a comment down below if you need any more help. Remember to check out part one of this series to see some other troubleshooting ideas and I hope to see you in the next video. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.